Hey, Frank Materatoni here. Back at Voodoo Studios, we're gonna demo through the Dimebag Daryl CFH collection for Amplitude 5. I got Phil Demo here on guitar. We're gonna try out some of these amps and effects and see what they sound like. This first preset here is a CFH distortion. It's got stereo rig of the Daryl 100 based on the RG100. What do we got in the pre? We got the six band EQ. We got another EQ, we got a noise gate. You can hear the gate on that. I yeah. like it. Yeah, I'm junk. Ooh, that just it pops. I like how the light comes on with the gate, so you know they're they're hey, gate gate. Sweet. Uh, I didn't I like catch it. that. Yeah, it doesn't take any tone away either. No, it yep. doesn't. It doesn't. Just EQs and a gate in this in this patch here. Yeah, his his EQ is a huge part of his sounds. You know, just really heavy tone shaping before the amp, and then just all the gain from those amps, super distorted. I love right off the bat. It's it's just the sound of the record. Yes. No tweaking necessary. It comes right up. Sounds fantastic. God, Playable. lots of mids. <laughs> Those mids are there. Man, that's great. <laughs> loving, loving the response, too. You can adjust all the EQs on here. I think anything you can see, you can touch. That's awesome. Yeah, we can mess with it. I kind of don't want to because it sounds so good. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, keep it, yeah, yeah, keep it, keep it where it's at. I'm just saying, it. but if you wanted to, if you're, because everybody's uh, plays different, your hands are, you know, respond differently, your pickups yeah. respond differently. So yeah, if guitars. you wanted to, you know, make it sound a little bit different than you can, you know, right? <laughs> Pretty cool. So what we're hearing is what actually he recorded this record with. Yeah, it's modeled directly after all the gear that was used. The uh, the uh, Randall RG100, the JB100 412 cab. That's crazy. That's yeah. awesome. You can see it all here. It's got the speakers and everything. So the mic placement. I mean, you can you can arrange the mic placement. You yeah, can... it's all it's all tweakable. Right now it's on speaker, but if you go to uh, you know the cab. Gotcha. That's awesome. <laughs> There's like this awesome software where you can duplicate his tone and everything, but there's not like the software where you can like program and play like him. <laughs> We've gotta, gotta come up with that next. We're getting pretty close though. <laughs> no slouch. Yeah. Yeah, just playing with the microphone blend right now. I got Do you a know what room. mics are on there? This one here is, uh, looks like based on an SM57 dynamic, you know, classic, and then mm -hmm. it looks like a, uh, a condenser. Gotcha. Good pairing. You want to have something different, you know, there's no point in having a bunch of mics that do the same thing, so. For sure. The condenser gives you a lot more body and you get all the sizzle and cut from the uh, the SM57, what it's known for, Dude, right on the cap does. of the cone. And, uh, and then the, the room. The cap of the cone? Yeah. Sounds like a Tom Clancy novel. <laughs> the cap of the cone. <laughs> And that's it. That's the sound. Pretty cool. Every little bit of the signal chain is accounted for. The flanger and the effects loop, the stereo split, oh, wow. the different delay settings. That's insane. That's really, really fucking cool. Because it's such a unique, you know, especially at that time when the record came out, you heard it and it mixed with you know, the clicky drums mm -hmm. and everything like that, that was such a signature sound. You, you can recognize that tone with that record right off the bat. Kind of like uh, the bass tone on Ted Nugent on uh, Free For All, where it's mm -hmm. like, oh, that song is on Free For All. You got that bass tone. This is instantly recognizable. <laughs> Yeah, so there's a there's a lot of movement that you have there based off the the basic tone. It seems like the EQ is not only 
for tone shaping, but also a gain There's stage. There's gain there, yeah, absolutely. Boosting. I feel that in the right hand going, mm -hmm. hit that one, <laughs> get it back. I need it. Man, that gate is just, it's right there. Love it, sounds great, man. Yeah. Doubler mode. Yeah. Let's go through these EQs. This looks like uh, it's based off the MXR6 band here. Mm -hmm. And it's doing a good amount of boosting part of the gain. A lot of gain coming from it and some tightening of the bottom end. Mm -hmm. Keeps all the woof out. Super responsive. Definitely part of it. If you chug around a little bit, we could probably hear it. Wow. Yeah. So he drops, he drops the lows to take, take that away where he's getting probably from the amp or somewhere else. Right, yeah, clean oh, it up before it hits. I like it. Let's take a look at this parametric EQ based off the Furman PQ3. Three bands, parametric, you can, you can set the frequency, like parametric EQ, you can control the width or the Q of the frequency if you're used to the what's, way. What's the Q? The Q is sort of the, the, the shape of the curve, if you've ever seen a, you know, an EQ curve, if it's mm -hmm. boosting or, or subtracting. But uh, you know, the work is kind of done for us here, and it's in a, in a really that. musical spot. <laughs> This one seems seems to me that it's it's more of a boost. Yeah. And 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 a gain. Yeah, I'm not hearing a lot of the change to the tone. Not a lot. Yeah, it's like it's filling it up. So yeah, yeah, it thickens it for sure. If anything, this is an amazing home base to start from and to kind of branch out to, you know, so you, if you don't want to sound exactly like Dime, but you've got this incredible foundation to start with to kind of branch out and maybe do your own thing too. It's even got the wah based on the Crybaby GCB95. So you could do the, you know, the kind of resonant frequency, find a sweet spot in the wah. I got you kind of just like a cocked open wah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, so you can actually, so you can manually do it if you got yourself somebody to, to be your hands. You can find <laughs> it. Let's mess with some clean tones. I yeah. want to try out the Cemetery Gates clean. We're we getting jazzy? Yeah. Jazzy fans. I know this one. Yeah, this is based off the uh, the Roland JC120. The time had a few of these, but this is the 1986 version. It must have had something special about it. 86. 86, same as me. That was a good year. You're 86? <laughs> I am. That was a year out of high school. Uh, go Mets. <laughs> <laughs> That is glassy. Yeah. That is so good. Yeah. Every bit of it. They got the room tone, the mic blends. How many, so what are the mics on here? What are we looking at? Two condensers on this one, getting all the top, the full range, and then stereo rooms as well, which you could bring in and out. You can widen them, oh, narrow that's them. Great. And that's such a big part of you know guitar sounds in the studio too. All the so stuff good. after the amp. So what's after? The cab. This is this is a pretty pure tone. There's not, not too much trickery going on. The JC obviously has that famous chorus circuit in it. That's the where the all the magic is, right? Yeah. changes in the clash setting. Let's Can see. you tell? A little less gain on the EQ here. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling gain, gain loss for sure. Let's push it up. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> right in the spot. I love how the, the core elements of his sound are in there for all of the era specific sounds. When you go to the Clash distortion, when you go to the Domination distortion, it's what he used. Yeah, you hear that song, right? Yes, yeah, exactly. It's, you want to play that riff. So, <laughs> it's so close, right? I, I dare you to pull this stuff up and not play these riffs, man. It's, it's impossible. <laughs> Thank you so much, Daryl, for doing all the work for you know people that can just plug in and grab all your tone. You know he carried he carried a lot of weight, and this is really cool that it's you know able to share it forward and and you know that's what he was about was a lot of sharing and really giving and and in this sense you know amazing tone, legendary tone that you know we all get to share with him. So right on, Daryl. Thank you, man.